Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're in statics and we're gonna do problem 4.90, okay? It says, determine the moment acting on the pipe in Cartesian form and also the magnitude if F is equal to 125 newtons, okay? So we got our pipe just lying on our x-axis and we have these two branches that are connected to our pipe and in and each one of those we have two equal but opposite forces, okay? And they want us to find the moment. So we know that for a moment, it's going to be equal to distance times force. In our 3D case, we can take, think of a distance of our vector distance. So for example, in this case, vector AB, cross product of my force F. And this will give me my moment in Cartesian vectors, okay? So if we want to find the vector AB, we need to first find its position. So the position of A in the x direction is going to be 600 millimeters. So I'm going to convert it into meter, which is 0 0.6 meter. The position in Y is actually negative 150 millimeters. So it's going to be negative 0.15. And both of them are exactly at zero level of my Z. Okay, and this is in meters. For my B, well, what do we have? In the X direction, so I have 600 plus 200, it's equal to 800 millimeters. So we got 0 0.8 meters, if we convert it right away. In the Y direction, we have positive 150 millimeters. So we got... 0 0.15 if we convert it into meter and it also has zero in my z direction okay so if we want to find our vector distance a b we need to do b minus a so in the i direction i have 0 0.8 minus 0 0.6 gives me 0 0.2 in the i direction in the y direction, I'll have 0 0.15 minus minus 0 0.15. So I'll get plus 0 0.3 in the j direction, okay? And then in the z direction, I have 0 minus 0 will give me 0 all the time. And these guys are in meters, okay? Now, since we found our distance vector AB, all we need to do is our cross product between AB and my force, okay? So moment is going to be equal to, so I have the I direction, J direction, and K direction. And then, since it's AB cross F, so I need to put first AB. So for AB, I have 0 0.2 in the I direction, 0 0.3 in the J direction, and zero in the K direction. For my force F, what do I have? I have that is totally going down or up, so we'll keep it positive, just the magnitude, but in the z direction. So I have zero in the x direction, zero in the j direction, but I have 125 in the k direction, okay? Now, if we do this, we will find that m, my moment, is going to be equal to. So for the first case, we hide this co column, we hide our, our row, and we're going to multiply 0 0.3 by 125. So we do 0 0.3 multiplied by 125 minus 0 times 0, that gives me 0, okay? So this will be my total in the i direction, then I have minus and then I'll hide this row and I'll hide this column, okay? So if I do that, I'll multiply, I'll cross multiply 0 0.2 multiplied by 125. So 0 0.2 multiplied by 125 minus 0 times 0 gives me 0. So I, I don't have to do any difference. And all this is in the J direction, okay? Last, in the k direction, we'll have, so we had 
this column and we hide this row and we're going to multiply 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 gives me 0 0 multiplied by 0 0.3 gives me 0 so I have nothing in the k direction okay so if we do this we have our answer so we need to multiply 125 multiplied by 0 0.3 that gives me 37.5 in the i direction minus 0 0.2 multiplied by 125 gives me 25 in the j bridge okay so this is my moment in Cartesian form and if we want to find the magnitude my, the magnitude of my moment one we will do Pythagorean theorem will do 37.5 squared plus 25 squared and this will give me so we do a square root of 37.5 squared plus 25 squared and that gives me a total of 45.1 and where are the units for this guys it's newtons per meter okay same for these guys over here newtons per meter so this is the magnitude thank you guys for watching if you guys have any questions or any comments just post it down below and i'll see you guys in the next video